Hey, what's up guys? Rob of Rule of Two Review here, and the last two days I've had to make some pretty intense videos about Nintendo, the NX, their new console, all these crazy rumors, so many things going on surrounding these rumors and their new console and how it affects the Wii U and what's happening with their library and our gamers getting a fair deal. And, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time in the past 48 hours talking about all this stuff, and, you know, it's not like I'm, like... Mad at Nintendo, of course, hopefully if you watched any of that stuff, you could tell that I really wasn't gearing any of my heated or passionate comments towards Nintendo, or even towards Nintendo fans, um, just towards the rumors themselves, and then, of course, in discussing if some of them were true, you know, I did certainly discuss how horrible I think that a lot of these decisions would be if they turn out to be true, but as of now, I don't really believe them, so there is that. That being said, because I've had to speak so heatedly and passionately about not awesome sounding news about Nintendo, I realized I really needed to flip the script. There's a couple of things that I want to talk about, but what I've decided to do today is kind of bring up just a random video where I get to talk about one of my most anticipated games, a game that I cannot wait for by the end of this year, the return of one of my all-time favorite series and all-time favorite Nintendo characters, Star Fox. So we all know Star Fox Zero was finally unveiled at Nintendo's digital event for E3 just a couple of weeks ago. Um, to It's been receiving mostly positive news and press. You know, there's certainly some dissenters out there. There's a couple things that maybe don't look as great as we, a lot of us were expecting. As much as I think the game still looks great visually, it certainly could be argued that it maybe doesn't look as good as it could, and I do have my theories as to why. I think it's because Nintendo is for forcing a very short development schedule for the game, um, which which is a shame. I would certainly, you know, like the game to have its proper time in the cooker before it's ready to go. And again, as happy as I am with the visuals, I wouldn't be unhappy if it maybe looked even better. Like, as good as we know it probably could look. But hey, we've only seen a little bit. The game is still probably six, seven, eight months off. We've got time to wait and see how this thing plays out once it's finally released. With Nintendo and Platinum working together, I'm sure that we're going to get the great Star Fox experience that a lot of us have been hoping and waiting for for a very, very long time. So what I wanted to discuss real quick today is the, I don't want to call it a controversy, but the debate or the discussion over the fact that Nintendo has confirmed that at least initially at launch, there won't be an online mode for Star Fox Zero. So again, I did say that online won't be available at launch because Miyamoto did say over the week of E3 that the game doesn't have online, but there's a lot of things that they're still considering and looking at in the future. And if they determined that if the demand is strong enough or it really does make sense for the game if there's time to implement it, that it is still an option. And that was really good news for a lot of people to hear, even myself included, because I've lo you know, I played Star Fox 64 with my buddies back in the day, you know, the multiplayer on that, which of course wasn't online, but we would get together with, you know, two to four 64 controllers and jam that for a very long time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Star Fox Command, I played online quite a bit too for the DS. That was a lot of fun. And then Star Fox Assault, people forget when they're talking about the whole online and multiplayer debate when it comes to Star Fox Zero, they always bring up Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Command, but I don't think I've heard anyone bring up the multiplayer modes for Star Fox Assault. And I gotta tell you, I think it's the best multiplayer they've made for Star Fox yet. And that was another one that also wasn't online. The only true online Star Fox game was Command. Star Fox Assault, you know, a lot of people remember that game kind of weirdly. I mean, no one really, like, super hates it as far as I know. But people do kind of remember that all the flying stuff was really great. But it had a lot of these on-foot miss missions. And we know that with how Star Fox Adventures p uh, panned out for some people, that not everyone is a huge fan of the on-foot stuff. I will say, and give this PSA when it comes to Star Fox Adventures, I flipping love that game. I would kill for another game like Star Fox Adventures. But I'm glad we're getting Star Fox Zero first, because I'd rather have a traditional one. Uh, Star Star Fox Assault, the campaign had a lot of on-foot stuff, and it was it was actually really cool. Like, it, I was still would have preferred if that game didn't have the on-foot stuff, but given that the on-foot missions were in the game, I actually thought they were well handled. There was a bunch of missions where you would actually go back and forth. You would be fighting in the R-Wing, and then you might have to land or dock in a couple of stations, and then get out on foot and run around and do things and get back in, and it was actually a pretty well put together little game. Um, and when it came to the multiplayer stuff, it was the same. I think you could pick R-Wing, you could pick Landmaster, you could pick on foot. Um, and you could even fight someone might be on foot picking up weapons on the ground and someone else might be in the R-Wing and they're battling between each other. And it was really cool. That actually would have been awesome if it had an online mode. So... The reason I went into that little tangent is to say that I do love and have loved the multiplayer and the competitive aspect of Star Fox, both online and offline. 
So we come to Star Fox Zero. It's releasing by the end of this year, 2015. It's, you know, the the next-gen Star Fox, if you want to call it, the Wii U HD Star Fox for 2015. And I think that the campaign is going to be amazing. I think the gameplay is going to be phenomenal with the gamepad. I fully believe in this game, Miyamoto's design and intended purpose with the gamepad and what they're going to be doing with this game. It's going to be a return to form and return to style for Star Fox that I just can't wait for. I want to control the shit out of that R-Wing and just love this game. Um, and then, you know, the multiplayer news came out, like I said, where they said right now it's not being implemented. I do think it will probably show up at some point, maybe, you know, as a downloadable thing, you know, later, like they're kind of doing with Splatoon, who knows. But what I wanted to also discuss is whether or not I think that Star Fox Zero needs online. And, I mean, if you can't tell by the story that I just basically told, no, I don't really think that the game needs an online mode, you know, or even like a local multiplayer mode. Um, I mean, I really would love it if they were there. Again, you know, I just told you my stories of yesteryear and how much I loved playing multiplayer Star Fox back in the day, but I really just, I just don't care that much. I mean, I heard that news, I, I read that quote on like day one or two of the show floor, and I was like, well, that, that kind of sucks. I think we were all really expecting that. I was expecting it for sure. I mean, I would have honestly, going into E3, I would have put money down in Vegas saying, oh, yeah, there's going to be an online competitive mode for Star Fox. And, and Star Fox, sorry. And, you know, worst case scenario, there'll be some sort of local thing that they'll do. I mean, they're going to do it because Nintendo loves at least couch co-op, if not, you know, broader co-op um, or competitive multiplayer. So I thought for sure it was going to be there. Um, and it wasn't. And I certainly was surprised. But, I mean, after my initial shock of that statement you know kind of registering i was like well i don't really care because the game looks good it looks like it feels like a star fox game and that has me so excited so what i'm really hoping is that we just get a very lengthy and beefy campaign with a couple of different ways to play through it um what I think that we can all probably expect when it comes to Star Fox Zero sometime over the next couple of months and, you know, leading into fall a few months down the road is we know we're going to get a Nintendo Direct about Star Fox Zero. And if we're going to get a Nintendo Direct about Star Fox Zero and they're going to make this their flagship first party game for the holiday, even more so than Yoshi and Mario Maker uh, or even Xenoblade, which is first party, but it's also Monolith, uh, Monolith Soft, sorry, um, you know, if, if this is their game and we're going, to get in, we're going to get a Nintendo Direct, what I've kind of realized, too, is that they're not just going to have a campaign that you, you go to the menu and you literally just press start and then, the, and then there's no, op, there's no like selectable options where it's like, you know, campaign mode, time attack mode, this mode, that mode, multiplayer mode, and it's going to be, it's not going to be like nothing and you just literally press start and then the game starts. Like, there will probably be some other ways to play through this game. That's how pretty much any game from any developer is created nowadays, which I think is a good thing. Nintendo, right alongside any other developer, they usually, they definitely believe in content. They like to pack a lot of content into whatever game that they're making that is a first-party game, especially something like Star Fox, where it's a true return of a series and a character that we've been waiting for and that we haven't seen for a long time. Star Fox Assault... 2005, literally a decade ago. I mean, it's been a long time since the last Star Fox game. Nintendo knows that. Miyamoto knows that. So what I'm what I'm thinking is, you know, yes, we're obviously not going to be getting an online mode, you know, maybe ever, probably definitely not at launch, you know, like, who knows what's going to happen with that. But they're going to be giving us something. There, there's probably going to be a couple of different modes. Maybe there's a couple of different paths you can play through. Um, maybe there's going to be like selectable characters that gives you different campaign stories. Like maybe you can actually play as Falco or like a Falco mode or, or something like that. Maybe you can play like as, as Star Wolf. And cause I think that they did confirm Star Wolf is coming back. Of course, you know, Pigmo, I think was shown in, a uh, um, some of the, uh, some of the stuff from the Treehouse, And, you know, we know Pigmo was part of team Wolf. So, you know, those guys are coming back. Maybe you can play like a good guy in a bad guy campaign. I mean, I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas at this point. But what I'm saying is there's going to be probably a couple of different things that we can do with this game, even if none of them are online. And I think that that's going to be enough, at least for me, I should say. Uh, I, I will recognize that for the broader gaming public, it certainly would be nice if there was an online multiplayer mode. I, I do think it's a missed opportunity for Nintendo with this game. I absolutely think so, especially if they wanted to even get some DLC money out of this. You know, as much as I don't want to necessarily promote DLC, I would almost take some DLC if it meant that it also launched with an online mode and maybe you can buy different R-Wings for like two bucks or something down the road. And it's like, you know what? Hey, I'll take that to at least get an online mode. But again, 
I just maintain that for myself, and I'm hoping for a lot of Star Fox fans too, you know, if we just get a really great campaign and a really lengthy campaign, that's the other kind of caveat there is I really want it to be beefy. I would like it to be like a 10-hour campaign and with just like in Star Fox 64, branching pads and based on the branching pads, maybe you're, you know, playing in different vehicles. We know that the Landmaster is back. We know that there's the walker thing that you can use and like the uh, little gyrocopter thing that you can send out. Maybe the submarine comes back from Star Fox 64, maybe even other things. I mean, obviously, these are the kind of things that we still don't know. And it's not like we don't know everything. I think that's what I was getting at with even the, the Nintendo Direct sort of comment is, you know, it's not like we know everything about that game. We've seen 30 minutes of a treehouse and that quick, you know, two minute trailer that was shown and that's it. And we've, yes, they've said there's no online mode, but we don't know what other modes will be there. So a really excellent Nintendo Direct with a more fully developed, closer to launch game, build of that game could be really exciting. And, you know, I'm just going to maintain the point that made me want to make this video. Uh, I would love it if there was an online mode. And although we may get it, I don't really care if it's not there. I think that Star Fox, if it's a great, amazing campaign with a lot of stuff to do and a couple of different ways to play through, I think we'll be getting the full-fledged $60 package. I think it's going to be an amazing value and, and a wonderful game experience. And we know that they're giving us a couple of control options because Nintendo has realized that that's the best way to do it with their hardware. And I think that that's great. I, for one, am absolutely going to play with the gamepad mode where you're using that as a cockpit. I want to dive into Miyamoto's vision for this new Star Fox, and I know it's going to be great. Even if there's a learning curve, that's fine. Some of the best games, whether you're using a gamepad um, for the Wii U or if you're using like an Xbox controller, some of the best games have learning curves. So I don't mind adapting to that. I have the patience and the time and the dedication to do it. And I know a lot of you guys out there do as well. So, you know, I'm I'm ready for this, for this game. And I think that it's going to be totally okay without an online mode. Again, you know, I'll reiterate for the last point, for the last time in this video, I would have liked it if it was there. You know, if I could have picked the best... Uh, best outcome it would have been yeah totally put an online mode in there I really want to play that it would lengthen this game tremendously which is why I think you know at the back of my mind especially with that comment I'm willing to bet that Nintendo might include something at some point maybe it becomes a surprise before launch maybe it becomes something that a couple of months after launch they implement and if that's the case then hey at least we'll get it um, that of course remains to be seen but even though I would like that stuff to be there I really don't care that it's not because I'm when I think about Star Fox when I was anticipating it before E3 when I was thinking about Star Fox the last several years saying man when are we going to get a new one I wasn't thinking man when can I go online and play dogfights online with Star Fox that's not what I was thinking I was thinking when will I get another kick-ass Star Fox campaign with great levels and missions to go through and our wings to fight with and just go, you know, and just fight against Andros or maybe a new enemy, whatever's going to happen. That's all I've been craving. So I think that's why I'm not like, I'm bummed, but I'm not really sad and it's not hindering my excitement for Star Fox Zero. Uh, so I know that this topic was kind of out of nowhere, but like I said, I wanted to make a fairly positive video about Nintendo, given that, uh, you know, have some pretty intense conversation about the rumors about the Nintendo NX the last couple of days. Stuff that I, all stuff that I stand by. I mean, everything that I said, I absolutely believe 100%. Um, and I'm proud of those videos, and actually a lot of people seem to receive them very positively, but, you know, when you love someone, it sucks when you have to talk about things that way, and I got really heated on that first video, uh, and I really just, you know, I don't really like doing that a lot, <laughs> and uh, I, I all, I'm i always thinking about how excited I am for Star Fox, like, I'm, I'm aching for more information on that game because I'm so excited for it. And I've been thinking about the online thing the last couple of days anyway. So I was like, man, I just, I know it's random and there's not any new Star Fox news to talk about, but I wanted to just get some of my thoughts about this, again, controversy, if you want to call it a controversy, and just share my excitement for the game regardless, you know, lament a little bit the fact that there's no online, but really just mention that I don't really care. And then also find out what you guys think about it. So I do want to hear from you guys, the viewers and the fans. People who are, you know, excited for Star Fox or fans of Star Fox, do you think it's a big deal that there isn't an online mode? Does, does it bother you? For anyone who is on the fence, has this now maybe swayed you away from the game because there's no online mode? Or are you not a Star Fox fan, so you really just don't give two craps about this game regardless of the online mode? Obviously, there's going to be a lot of different opinions. I'm very curious to hear what you guys think, as always. So, of course, share your thoughts and your feelings about Star Fox Zero, when the game's going to release, should it have an online mode and a multiplayer component, all that fun stuff below. Thanks, as always, for tuning in and watching, and I'll catch you guys next time on another video.